after the seventeenth penis slowly shrinks out of you, as if embarrassed for puking in a place so heavenly, you will open your eyes. You will count to a hundred in increments of five by twenty. You will know this man is not the one that will save you by forty. You're watching fifty-five, tuck sixty, lift sixty-five, button seventy, zip seventy-five. This movement so fluid, you will feel like drowning. By the time you get to 95, you'll be staring holes in the door he's escaping through at 100. You will be left with pieces of him, only satisfactory for drug screening or DNA testing. The crying will begin. You will not curl your skeleton into fetal position. There is nothing Gerber-like about the things you just swallowed. You will not kneel to pray. You will think God may not appreciate a conversation in the same stance you just pleased the devil with. You will not stand. That involves a straight spine, squared shoulders, and a head tilted upward, all of which you just let him leave with. You will not call your friends. You will be too ashamed to tell them that you are leftovers under another man's fingernails again tonight. You will not notice that you are leaking, that your insides are running away from you. You will not write. Your notebook holds more reflection than mirror. And if nothing else, you know how temporary your grip on permanent things. You cannot risk remembering this. You will not hold yourself. It will feel too much like desperation, like a ghost, like struggling to grasp your shadow, the only part of you that hasn't become translucent. You will not drink. Alcohol ain't got nothing on this. No other drug will leave you comatose, ragged all looking. You will wonder why you like this. You will wait impatiently for dawn to remind you that you are human, that you do not dissipate in sunlight like your lovers do. How quickly they suck the life out of you and flee without remorse. You will ask the skyline when you will start fucking vampires. You will crawl, animal-like, to the bathroom. Once you get there, you will use the wall to steady. You will not trust your legs. With a house of a torso so hollow, you will not have faith in its foundation. You will shower for three hours. Remember the science class that taught you hot water purifies. You will apply this concept to your skin. You will beg it to burn the wants to be needed, the need to be wanted. And yesterday, at 2 a.m., door memories, it will not oblige. You will get dressed with your clothes inside out as your body will not be accustomed to feeling the interior of things. You will scan the floor, pick up items you've been careless with your Bible, your self-esteem, quarters for laundry, Maya Angelou's I know why the cage bird sings the camera, your last smile and you will still be crying. And all this may not happen after the 17th penis. It may be after the third or the 11th, or the 104th, but you will know when it's the one, when you will stop congesting men and their extensions because you realize you are all you need for your salvation. Woo!